Hello, I'm Graham Horton and welcome to today's video. Now in this video I'm going to show you a new way of mounting your Panasonic Lumix bridge cameras to a tripod or monopod. Now you may remember several years ago I came up with this idea for the FZ200 and FZ300 and you can see it here on the table. It was just a aluminium plate which screwed to the base of the camera with another quarter to twenty mounting hole in line with the lens axis. So this meant that you could put it on a tripod with something like a quick release plate and still get access to your uh, battery box and SD compartment. So it allows you to change the SD card while this was on a, a tripod or monopod. So I thought I'd come up with a new idea which you could actually make yourselves using a selection of small hand tools and a drill to enable you to make it. It's very easy to make and no complicated machining needed at all. Here I've got the FZ8082 with the new plate installed along with a very thin Arca Swiss plate which goes on to the base of it. So this is the actual plate. It's made out of 9mm plywood but you can use um, MDF and I've got one made out of MDF here so that would be the finished article. You can see it's just a piece of 9mm MDF. There's a quarter twenty countersunk hole which allows you to fix this to the camera and on the other side here we've got a 3 8 to quarter bush which screws into the plate. Now if you don't have a 3 8 16 tap you can actually drill this out to 9mm and arrow dike that or use an epoxy resin to fix that in place. So, so let's see how you can make this. I've got a variety of templates which I'll be putting on the download section of my photographic blog and I'll put a link to that in the video description below. There's the FZ200, the 300, the 8082 and the FZ1000. On the download section you'll find these templates. So again if I just show you on the overhead. They are actually produced at 300 dpi. So I've put a ruler along the side of here. So if you print this out, uh, ideally on um, a labelled paper so it's got a self-adhesive backing or you can just use this as a template to mark around it. The rule will actually tell you whether you've got the right DPI for your printer. If you've got anything like scale to fit or fit to paper, then the actual dimensions of this won't be correct. So if you can just check with a ruler along here. So if I just put a rule against the 50 to the 100, you can see that that's exactly 50 millimeters. So I know that my printer is, is correctly calibrated at 300 DPI and this actual template will be the right size. So once you've printed that out, it's a case of just getting a rule and a sharp knife, put this to the outside edge of the template and then cut away all the way around the template. This one is actually for the FZ200 but it's going to be the same for whatever template you choose. So just go around all the way around the template then eventually you'll end up with the template that you can see here. So this would then go onto your piece of MDF or preferably 9mm plywood. Now I got the 9mm plywood and the MDF from my local wood merchant and he's got a bin there of offcuts so I managed to pick up a small piece of this for uh, just under a pound in the UK so it was ideal for the project I needed. So once you've got the template and if you're using a label material which is self-adhesive you can actually stick this onto the plywood like so and now you can cut this out using a hacksaw, bandsaw, fretsaw, jigsaw, whatever saw you have it's not that critical that you get this dimension in right. Once you've got the template on the material before you cut it out it's a good idea to mark the position of the quarter twenty mounting hole for the tripod you can see here on the template that's marked here and it'll be the same on any template so with the sharp pointed uh, pencil or a tool just press the U to give me the center point for that hole and then I know that is where the mounting hole will be and that's where I will drill the countersink so then you go ahead and cut that out when you cut it out you'll end up with a sheet of your plywood like so um, I didn't mark this before I took it off so I'm just going to remark it now so that goes to the corner over there and again I'll just press through the center of that hole to give me the center 
for the quarter 20 mounting and if I just highlight that. Now there is another mounting hole, it's on the uh, template, it's not actually on this FZ82 template that I've got here, but the position is found by just going from corner to corner of this triangular section here, I'm just going to make a mark, and then centrally down the tab here, which gives me the centre for the lens axis, so again, that will be the centre of my um, 8 millimeter hole if I'm going to tap this with a 3816 or a 9 millimeter hole if you're going to arrow light it in position. So this hole will be a 6.5 millimeter hole and this will be the 8 or 9 millimeter hole. This one we will countersink from the top surface so that will be countersunk from that side and then the other one will be countersunk from this side. We'll be using these 3 8 to 1 quarter inch adapters and I'll put a link to these in the video description below. These are the plain type. Ideally, if you can get the ones with a countersunk, uh, they are available on Amazon and I'll, again I'll try and put a link. They've got a shoulder on here which needs to be countersunk into the material.